This is Nick with logosbynick.com, and in this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can apply drop shadows with Adobe Illustrator. Now, this is something that could be applied to either a single object or multiple objects at the same time, and it works the same either way. So for my demonstration, I'm going to show you how to do this with multiple objects at once. So I'm going to click and drag over all of my objects here so I have everything selected, and I'm going to navigate to Effect, Stylize, and I'm going to choose Drop Shadow. And once you select on that, you'll notice we have this drop shadow menu that populates. And on the screen here, it will render a preview of how your drop shadow will look once it's applied. Now up here in this menu, we have some options to choose from. We have mode. This is the blends mode over here. You can change how your shadow looks depending on the blends mode that you choose. By default, it uses multiply, so I'm just going to leave it at that. Over here, we have opacity. If you hover your cursor over this input field and roll your mouse wheel up and down, you can increase and decrease the opacity as you see me doing here. Over here, we have the X, the X offset, which controls where the shadow is located relative to the X axis. Over here, we have the Y axis that does the same thing, only relative to the Y axis. And then down here, we have blur. This controls how big the shadow is or how blurred it is. If you increase it, it makes it larger and more soft. If you decrease it, it makes it more solid like that. So I'm going to bring this back up a little bit. And then finally, down here, we have these two options. You can create a drop shadow based on a specific color of your choosing, which is black by default. Or you can use darkness, which what this basically does is it takes the color of the object and creates a shadow of it using a darker shade of the color of the object like that. So once you're finished, you can go ahead and click OK, and there we have our drop shadow. Now, if you want to go back and edit this drop shadow, or maybe even delete it, you can come over here to where it says Window and click on Appearance. And if you notice, you will have drop shadow right here in this list. If you click on that, you can go back and edit this drop shadow as needed and click OK. Now, if you want to delete the drop shadow, you can just select this layer right here and click this little trash can icon to delete it like that. And one final thing I want to show you, let me close out of this. If you want to finalize this and, and, and create it, make it into a path so that it's not a shadow object, it's an actual path, what you can do is select everything like I have here and go to Edit and go to, no, go to Object and click on Expand Appearance and then Ungroup. Uh, go to Object, Ungroup. You may have to do that a couple of times. And now what you can do is you can move these objects away. And as you can see here, these are all separate objects of their own. So that is how you can work with drop shadows in Adobe Illustrator. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And as always, thanks for watching.